Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Warney Heed, back to watch more Bleach. This is episode 282, continuing along with this fun, fun plot and this whole story. I'm loving it, to be honest. Um, we just saw the end. We just rest in peace, King Baragon. Uh, Roizenbaum was a, you know, I'm bad with the names, but like, rest in peace. Uh, the way he went out definitely was a surprise to me. Hachigan, you know what I mean? Hey, never judge a book by his cover, man. He's like a fat old dude with pink hair, but a motherfucker can fucking toss. That's what to put it. So it's been good, cool to see him. Uh, hey, man, I'm ready to get this thing going. Episode 282. We're continuing and we're finishing this off. Let's do it. Where is Carlos? Ready? Get him, Stark. Around hey, and come out. You can let go. There is a certain artistic style required when it comes to climbing out of rubble. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I would have liked it if we had settled things a bit sooner. And why is that? Once your comrade falls in battle, you're gonna want revenge. You think so? He doesn't seem like the type to me. Oh, yeah. He does. I mean... Who wouldn't be affected by the death of a comrade in arms? If he's shaken up by his death, we should strike while his guard is down. His guard ain't down, bro. This man is about to go crazy. It, we need to attack him before he snaps. So then what you're saying is that the more losses they suffer, the stronger they become. Time to kick ass! Let's go with it. Slam, Big Billy Club with spikes on it. Yeah, Stark's about to go beast mode. That won't work. No way. The thing's big and funky, bro. Slow, probably. He's moving slower than before. Guess he is the type that gets shaken by his comrade's death. And it looks like Lord Aizen has no intention of helping us out either. And they're strong. I get that. I've done all that I can here. If we continue to fight them, someone's going to die. Well, duh. Let's just go home and take a nap. You mm. got him. Not exactly. He's just not moving around. And he's yet. just like, fuck it. I get he's it. So he's gonna be like, plans. fuck it all. There he is. Yeah, thanks. Only because you decided to act For up. real. He wants nothing. He wants done with this fight. You can't be waiting up there. We didn't mean to keep you in suspense. Stark, tell him that you're done. The timing between his shots is completely different than earlier. Does that mean he's not the one doing the shooting? Nope. Stop it! Stop shooting! Why is it you won't attack me? Too stricken with grief? He just want nothing. Yeah, something like that. He wants nothing to do with this fight. Just shut up. You want to go back to the crib and order a pizza and watch a movie? I get it. Never had any emotions or feelings. You act like a hollow yourself. If I remember right, you had a mask on earlier. You talking about this? Now he's strong. Let's cut loose. Right. Whoa. Time to play. Kinshara. That was nice. Oh, Sorry. As I've explained to you earlier, there's a real art to making an impression in any kind of situation. This is dramatic. I don't care. You're not in the clear yet. <laughs> that blast of yours is not powerful enough to knock out my King Shara. Yeah, I think it's coming for you. Nice work, Rose. <laughs> you gotta. If 
I were Stark, I would just disappear. Be like, hey guys, I think I'm done. Like, I get it. He just, he's just over it. He's like, fuck it, no, I don't even know what if I'm fighting for this shit to be in the... You know what I mean? He doesn't know fucking... He's just like, fuck it. I'll be bad. Two lovebirds can settle your quarrel later. I see the. I see the little love quarrel. Well, that's not my plan. Enough already! This is getting annoying, Lisa. I'm ready to get this done. Do you mind filling me in on exactly what it is you guys are? Yeah, what's going on? It has nothing to do with you. That's where you're wrong. You two may be used to fighting together, but I haven't fought with either one of you. No one said Lisa and I are used to fighting together. And yet, there's one simple understanding that both of us do share. The actual amount of time we can fight full power is very limited. Here we go. Mass on. You Let's do it. Three of us would be fighting you. Well, you're mistaken. There's two of us and one soul reaper. I would have just left though. <laughs> are you alright? No, I am not alright. These two guys are really strong. There you go. You're whining again. If we just fight together, we can easily beat those two. I don't know whose side I'm on. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of rude for the start. Ready? Let's do it. I don't know whose side I'm on. They look like white huskies to me. That's sick. You know, the Starks in Game of Thrones, they, you know, they, you know, Dire Wolf. Is it is it is is there fucking hey, you know what banner? Did you see that? Yeah, I know. He's unarmed. He's coming. I can see that. Tengumaru. Man, fucking. Hey, that nice little doggo, dick. It's kind of hard for me not to root for fucking Stark back here, guys. I'll be honest with you. Oh. These things are like flames. There's no end to them. I've always hated peculiar magic like this. It's very annoying. Yeah. Kinshara Sokyoku, number 11. Izayoi Bara. What is that, dude? Ooh. It appears your technique is even more like magic. <laughs> what? Is this some destructive? They're not flames. They're sterile. Every one of those wolves came up from the magazine of that Espada's gun. Each one of those creatures is a Cero that he deliberately fired. That's cool. And they're dangerous when they explode at close range. Whoa. Uh, I'd be worried. Damn. What a cool. They're not Cero's. I took my own soul and tore it into pieces, and I have made those pieces obey me like partners, so that now I may use them as weapons to destroy you. <sighs> Stark. What is it? Looks like they can't handle our power. I'd say that you're right. This is not looking good for Bug and Rose. Let's go. Slapped. Straight slapped, fam. This game's over. Run and I'll let you live. We don't run. Yeah. There's no choice. I don't like the term finishing. Brawl, Stark is so cool. But that's exactly what this is. Stab him 
in the back, man. Who the fuck was that shit? I don't even know whose sword that was. Was it a reaper sword? It looked like it. I just don't know whose it is. Who has swords like? It was like a fucking curve, man. I don't want to think too... Man, god damn it! I was really enjoying him as a character. He was really fun. Whew. Either way, another good episode. Uh, I'm glad we got a little bit more background on Stark, man. He's always been this like... Kind of like an enigma of a character a little bit to me. Because we're just like... How do I say that? We're just kind of slowly grasping out. Like, he... Okay. Only thing we've known... He, he kind of gives me... What is it? Zabuza vibes a little bit. With Haku. You know what I mean? He was a... I mean, I said... He, no, that's a really bad one. Maybe Kenpachi and fucking uh, uh, Yachiru vibes. Because he... Like... Stark was alone out there in Waco Mundo. And then he met Lolinet. Lolinet obviously helped out with loneliness. They created a bond, and that's why they fight and they work together. It's it's a really nice uh, bond, and on top of that, man, he just he seems like a really decent person, you know. Like Stark is someone that I could hang out with, bro. He's like he's really fucking cool. I just I I'm growing to like him a lot, and uh, just to know that like how how he feels about certain things, he kind of. It's kind of like the mentality of just like, I don't know, maybe he does believe in himself a lot, but he also has that mentality, I feel like, where it's like, all right, I think I'm ready to just call it quits. You know? It's like, I get it, but I'm going to sleep tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live, live, live to fight another day. Is the way that he was, re I feel like, acting for a little bit there, man. And I feel like if Lillianette wasn't there, he would have been like, all right, peace, I'm out of this fight. I get that vibe, man. I got that for a bit because he wasn't he wasn't fighting back at all, man. He just was like, "All right, I'm over this shit," which is a feeling I, that is so easy to get. I swear, to you. fam, I, it's me sometimes. I'm just fucking over it sometimes, and I'm just like, I don't want to deal with it. I get it, but yo, Rose and fucking love, man. They they fucking went at it with the fam, bro. They were going at it hardcore with him, and he he did his best. I mean, like you know, like he's he's two on one. I get it. He's a little bit frustrated. He's like, I'm not gonna get any fucking help. I'm stuck out here. Lily Ned obviously going, no, dude, we're we're in this together. I get it. Uh, Hiori and uh, Toshiro is back and forth. It's pretty hilarious. It's kind of cute. We'll see what happens with those two. But I just wonder what Lucy... I mean, is Lucy and Hiori going to be able to do anything? I mean, they, they got their masks on. I mean, we, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But right now, man, I, I'm feeling really, really bad for our boy. Fucking, I mean, for Stark, bro. He, just, he gave it his all. He fucking got the wolves out. By the way, I think it's a really cool thing. He's a Stark and he has wolves, like dire wolves. Or, I mean, I want to call them huskies, but, you know, whatever. Either way, Stark, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty badass. He even looks like a fucking... He looks a little bit like a Stark, too, from fucking Game of Thrones, man. Uh, either way, he got stabbed in the back, which I'm not really happy about, but I wonder who fucking did it. Ugh, it sucks, because it's like, you get to know some characters, and you're, they're the bad guy, obviously, but then they're like, are they bad, or are they really good, or are they in a really weird situation? I don't fucking know, but that's what it felt like with his ass. Woo! Either way, great episode. Thank you all for watching me. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, like I always say, please take care of yourselves and your families. We'll see you on the next one.